YouTube and welcome to this video where I'm going to teach you how to make a professional YouTube logo in Adobe Photoshop CS4. So here we go. Hello YouTube and welcome to this video where I'm going to teach you how to make a professional YouTube logo in uh, Adobe Photoshop CS4. So here we go. So first step, what you're going to need to do is click on File. Okay, you're going to want to click New or Control N, and right here your uh, width is going to be 500, your height is going to be 500, and you want your background content to be transparent. Okay, click OK. It will reset. Okay, so you want your um, foreground color to be black. Background in your foreground, foreground you're going to want to be red. So now you're going to want to click up here on your menu tabs, click edit, click uh, fill or shift F5. Okay. Um, make sure it says contents used in black. Okay, and then click OK. Okay, it'll turn it black. Now you're going to want to click on your paintbrush tool or your brush tool, whatever you want to call it. Click on that and it will come up a circle. You're going to want to click it about, I don't know, as many times as you want. I'll click it about twice, okay? Okay, next, um, you can either just move it around or you can just go right over here, click New Layer. And what you're going to want to do now is click on your um, Ellipse tool. And you're going to want to make a pretty decent sized circle. Okay, I'm going to about that big. You move that one right Okay. Okay, we'll just say that's about right, okay? Now you're going to want to click, uh, right click on shape one over here and click blending options, okay? And then right here, you're going to want to say drop shadow, uh, inner shadow, outer glow, bevel and emboss, contour, uh, gradient overlay, and stroke. Okay, you're going to want to click drop shadow and set it to about 83. And your inner shadow, you're going to want about 75. And your outer glow at about 75. Okay, and it will look a bit like that. So then you want to click on stroke and say so just a little bit less on that speed. Gradient overlay, you're going to want to be just a little bit less opacity. Just a tiny bit, just so it gets a little bit of gray back in there. Click OK, OK. And next, what you're going to want to do is <coughs> click right over here on your text, uh, your horizontal typing tool. Click on that. And your um, text is going to be at about 90 um, pixels. So let me type that in. Okay. And you're going to want to click right there. Uh, minus C, R, and R. That just right in the center, okay? Then right click on your text um, slide. And you're going to want to click blending options. And you're going to say drop shadow, inner shadow, uh, a little bit of inner glow, uh, bevel and boss, uh, contour. Uh, Pattern overlay and stroke. Okay, your stroke is going to be a little bit less. It's going to be about a two. So give that a two, and then go to your drop shadow and bring that up just a little bit. Perfect. Okay. And your design will turn out something like this. And it does look quite professional, I would say. And it looks pretty good. Uh, if you also, if you just use a black, um, if you don't uh, use your paintbrush, and you just use black, if you use Sony Vegas 9.0, uh, you can use it as a watermark, and you can just green screen out the black, and it'll work as a um, watermark. So that's really cool. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for that little delay. I had a little bit of a problem with the text. Um, so thank you for watching so much. And I hope you enjoyed. So peace.